Okay, it's over to Mark in the Mastercraft Kitchen, and you're cooking our guest Peter Gordon's recipe today from his book, Savour. What are you cooking, Mark, and no pressure? Right, yeah, no pressure. A bit nervous today. So this is one of his recipes out of his new book. We've got roasted parsnips, celeriac, smoky apple compote, pistachios, and a halloumi. So it's going to be great. Got these beautiful um, celeriacs now, just come in season, so you can find these in the supermarket. Really earthy vegetable, great roasted with the parsnips as well and the leeks. And that's the first job what we're going to do now. So just want to peel your parsnips, take your ends off and your tips, cut them in half, and then I'm just going to do some nice slices, pop them in a roasting tray. Let's get all those in there. Uh, leek as well, just take your tail off the leek and just into about one centimetre discs, just like that. Ooh. Pop all those in. And celeriac. Right, so I'm going to show you how to peel this. So just take the top and tail off, make sure it's sitting nice and flat on your board and then get your knife and you just want to carefully peel around, just like an orange. And if you just have a look carefully in the celeriac, there's almost like two uh, skins on there. So you just want to make sure you get under the second one. So you're taking a bit of the outer skin off and it gets it nice and soft. And then cut it in half and then just in some nice slices. So we'll pop that on there. And then all we, all we want to do now is just sort of roughly chop some herbs. Got some rosemary, sage, um, oregano in there. Bit of thyme, sprinkle that over. A little bit of pepper and some olive oil. We're going to roast that in a hot oven, so about 180 degrees, for about 40 minutes. So it's still nice and soft, but still got a nice bit of texture. And we'll come back a bit later to finish this dish. Peter Gordon tells us more about why he's written a whole recipe book full of salads for all seasons. But first, let's check out one of those recipes with Mark and Mike. Thank you very much, Mel. Yes, it is a bit of pressure today, because from Peter Gordon's book, Savour, Mark is doing one of his recipes. How's it going? Yeah, we're good. The uh, veggies are roasting in the oven as we speak, so we're going to make the apple compote now. So just peel your apples, and then we're just going to quarter it, take the cores out. What's the best apple for cooking? Depends what uh, texture you want after it. Okay. Granny Smiths are really good if you want that mm -hmm. sort of tartness and a little bit more texture. Um, um, but for this, we're going to get a nice soft, sort of sweeter finish, so we're going to use red apples. Oh, nice. Okay, awesome. So we're chopping up our apples. Yeah. And what are we going to do with them? Right, so basically we have got, we're going to put them in the pot. Okay. Got a little bit of sugar in there. Right. So we've got sugar, it's just going to go in. And the smokiness comes from a smoked paprika. Ah, I was wondering where, because so when they said smoky, I was like, where are we getting their smoky apples from? Yeah, well, I thought we were going to smoke them on the, uh, in the pan. Okay, cool. With good the paprika. Work. Ooh, yum, a lot easier. Good already. A um, little bit of apple cider vinegar. Yep. And a little bit of salt. Right, okay. and we're just going to put the heat on there. Yeah. Just going to warm it up now. Um, as the apples warm up, the liquid and the juices from the apples just going to come out. And we're going to put the lid on as well, and that's going to help the juices come out. And then, and then once the apple's nice and soft, we're going to take the lid off and just carry on cooking it and uh, suck up all those juices. So it's going to be sort of quite dry, and you'll get this uh, compote which we're going to spread over the salad after. I was wondering with salads through winter, is it a better way to get you know some good nutrition into you? Uh, yeah, no, it's good. And uh, a lot of these salads, because we had a flick through the book before, a lot yeah. of the salads, um, you know, you've got some nice meat components in there and you've got warm components as well. So mm. they're, and they're really fun and they're quite substantial as well, especially the winter salads. Right. You know, it's not just a bowl of salad leaves which is going to leave you unsatisfied in no, the And that's winter. what you want. You want to be satisfied. <laughs> exactly. And that's the thing about the salads now. You can really start mixing them up. And I have noticed uh, it's certainly getting colder, isn't it? I mean, in the last week in particular. So we want something nice and warm. Okay, halloumi. <laughs> right, and, and, and on this salad as well we've got nice roasted vegetables so you know it's gonna be nice oh, and substantial good, and we've got halloumi as well so my daughter calls this uh, squeaky cheese Squ so do I <laughs> yeah so so um, in uh, Peter's recipe as well we've got the halloumi so overseas you sort of get bigger halloumi and it's a little bit drier right so he just says uh, pop it in a bowl um, boiling water over the top to cover it and about an hour and it will just soften up and then you'll get that really sort of squeaky sort of texture. Um, this is local halloumi and uh, we had a look at it before and we sort of agreed that we didn't need to do that sort of stage. Okay. It's sort of nice and soft. So we're just going to cut it into nice little chunks and we're just warming a non-stick pan up here. We're just going to put a little bit of olive oil in. Is there a difference between good halloumi and bad halloumi if we're at the shops looking for it? Anything that you can perhaps give us some advice on? 
Oh, I mean, there's there's lots of different halloumis, and it depends what sort of texture you want. You right. know, if you've got a really soft sort of wet halloumi, if you try and pan fry it, it's just going to sort of dissolve and go right. really soft, and you're not really going to get a colour. So, depends what you want to do with it. If you want to eat it like that, it's really nice. But if you want to pan fry it, you know, you've got to sort of check. It's sort of it's springy now, but it's firm, so we know we're going to get a nice, beautiful colour on this. And we're just okay. going to sort of just take the excess liquid off. Okay, take the excess liquid off. Put the halloumi in the pan. And and apples are going. Our roast veggies are going. I'm going to put the lid on now, yep. and it's just going to sort of sweat now and get all those juices out. And then when we come back, uh, we'll take the lid off, and when we come back, you'll see the uh, nice sort of red apples in there. Yum, yum, It'll yum. Be great. Okay, you can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz, so make sure you check that out. We will come back very soon to the Mastercraft Kitchen. Right, we are ready. Vegetables are roasted, so have a look at those. Nice bit of colour on there, still a little bit of texture in there. Some baby kale for the leaves. Just going to toss them lightly through the warm vegetables and then we'll get these on our plate. And this is a great salad to do, a huge, huge big plate, put it in the centre of the table, and then just everyone gets stuck in. So get a nice selection of the vegetables. And then here's our halloumi. So we just pan fried it, so it's nice and warm, nice and golden as well. Pop that on top. Yum. Yeah. And oh, have a look yum. at these apples. Oh, so these are the apples now, cooked down, so beautiful and orange now from the vinegar and the smoked paprika. Just sprinkle those over. Look at that. You have done Peter Gordon proud. Oh, yes. And then, it's not finished yet, your Ooh. pistachios. Yum. Ooh. There you go. That's a little bit of olive oil over the top and some fresh lemon. There you go. A little pinch of salt. And here it is. You guys oh. want to try it? Yes, yes do please. Do we want to try it? Oh, no, thanks. I'm fine. No, I really <laughs> want to try it. This, I love a It's my favourite cheese. So there you go. This is from Peter Gordon's book, Saver, and I must admit, you have done him proud there. It looks amazing. I hope he likes it. Mm, yum, yum, I yum. Think well. I think he will. What are you doing tomorrow, quickly? Tomorrow I'm going to do crumb lamb rack uh, with a spicy black vinegar sauce. Oh, it sounds great.